You may remember this uh, from the last lecture where we talked about basically using a lens and tracing rays of light through a lens and see how an object is then cr created on the image or a sensor. And that's how we go from a 3D scene to create images. Here I'm starting with a, a simple object and let's see by just doing simple ray tracing what happens to this. A ray of light goes through the lens and of course goes through the focal length here and it's now on this side. Another ray of light that goes through the optical center of the lens which actually acts if you recall like a uh, pinhole goes straight through and similarly another light comes on uh, and now basically we're seeing that an image should be formed here of course uh, the image is upside down. I'd also introduced in the last lecture the whole concept of a thin lens equation which is shown here which basically relates the focal length of an image with respect to what the distance is of the image on this side of the lens uh, where the object is on the other side. A couple of things to clarify also and point out here. Uh, this lens is a thin concave lens which is the shape like this. It's also sometimes referred to as a positive lens because all rays of light converge. Uh, inside uh, to allow you to create an image on this side. Of course, convex lenses that have shapes like this are also used. Sometimes they're referred to as negative lenses. And most of the time when you buy an expensive lens from a camera, it's a combination of a series of these types of concave convex lenses that move together to create an effective lens that's used to be able to allow you to take the you know, rays of light from a scene onto your sensor. And we will be seeing some examples of this, but there's a lot of material that you can look up on your own to kind of study the importance of these types of lenses.